Hi, this is Black Prep Prepper again, and we're talking more on our tips for the Pinewood Derby. So basically I'm giving you all the tips that have taken me years and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get. I'm going to give them to you for free. Just got to watch the videos. So pretty simple. So the first one we're going to be doing here out of our actual in-depth um, tips is going to be how to polish the axles. Now there's a couple different parts of an axle that need to be polished. So imagine the axle, and this is going to be a, a blown up version, which is the tire here, but imagine that is the head of the axle, and then we have the shaft of the axle. So there's two different surfaces to polish, the inside of the head and the axle itself. Now there is ridge marks on the nails that come in there and crimp marks on the nails that have to be taken out at first, and we'll do that with a file. After that, we'll actually tilt our file to the side and we're going to cone out the head of the axle just a little bit. And we'll actually take a little bit off the outside to make sure it, the head actually fits down inside the hole we've made in the tire. So that's kind of where we start here. So the first off, we go ahead and we'll get our, our axle. We're going to take our file here. Just about 10,000 RPM. Now remember, this gets hot. So we just take the edge. This is a triangle file. We're going to take just the edge. And we're going to just angle it out a little bit. Just to bring a little cone on the head of the axle. So it just cones it out just a little bit. Just enough. So we want to keep the flat surface up against the head. And then we're going to come here and just lightly buff the grooves out of the axle. Okay? Okay, then we're going to take 320 grit pretty simple stuff here. I tend to fold it in half just so I kind of have it, it makes it a little easier to get up against the head. So I'll start at 320 grit. I'm going to do just about you know 10 seconds and then 10 seconds on the head. And then we'll take 800 grit. Do that same thing, fold it over, it makes it a little easier to use. And just that same amount, just about 10 seconds. And we want to keep it moving and make sure we're not just using the same spot every single time. That's a pretty important part. Okay, then we'll come up to our 1,000 grit. Now I tend to do this one at about 15 seconds for a thousand grit. Okay. And then we go up to 1500. Now you can stop at a thousand. I have not seen a dramatic improvement after about a thousand grit. So that's just between the now when we're talking about um, when we're talking about graphite axles and that's what we're doing here we're doing graphite so now we're up to 1500 I'm gonna make this about 20 seconds Okay. 
So for this last one, I turn it a little up, you know, a little above 10,000, probably about 12 or 13,000 RPMs. Sorry, it's a little noisy. And we're just going to do this for 25 seconds. Right, and then just 25 seconds on the edge. Okay. Now once we've got it down, we want to take a look and make sure that we can see it. At 2,000 grit or even 1,000 grit, it should be a pretty good gloss at that point. Now it's not going to be a, you know, like I said, when it comes to doing, um, when it comes to doing uh, we uh, axles for your cars that we're going to be doing graphite, it is not as necessary, in my opinion, this is knowledge by Tate, to go all the way up to 12,000 and all these others. I actually think they run a little better if you leave them a little rough. It allows the graphite to kind of stick inside there. So that's basically what we do for the axles. Now the only other thing we're going to do is put them, you know, we'll have one of them that we will put in our axle bender for our front end, which is real simple to do. We just slide it in there. That's why I love this tool. This is from Derby Works. It's their axle bender. There's a couple different ones out there. I set it for as much as it will bend, about 5 degrees on this type of an axle. I drop it in and just go ahead and I pull up on the axle. So I pull up. I've got my axle bent. So within several seconds, we're dealing with a freshly bent axle that has been, you know, nicely shined. It's got the head cupped on it a little bit. We've knocked down the head a little bit, so when we stick it into our wheel, it's a little smaller than the head and allows it to spin real nice. And you'll see even, I mean, this wheel spins even real nice, nice and smooth, and we want to make sure when we do that we're not seeing a lot of wobbling and things like that. It'll even get better as we add graphite. So I always keep a good prepped wheel that's in pretty good shape that I've already got basically to a decent point, and I want to see that wheel spin nice and easy. So, that's as simple as it gets, guys. Now, if you're using a drill for this, you're going to have to add up a little bit on the time. Like I said, this thing's spinning about 10 to 15,000 RPMs. Drill's going to spin about 1,000. So, you're going to have to add a little bit of time. It may take you 20, 30 seconds for each one. Remember your first grits. You kind of want to watch it. We're not trying to diminish the size of the actual, so the actual, the actual thickness of the axle. We're not trying to ramp it down real small because that will give play in the wheel. And anytime we have play, we have less consistency. That wheel will wobble a little bit, wobbles bad. So just go ahead and make sure that thing's nice and cleaned up. You're going to want to wash your wheels in a little bit of Dawn soap and make sure they're all cleaned up really good. And then maybe even take a little alcohol, a little rubbing alcohol, and wipe that off real good and make sure they're dry completely before we put them in the car. So, as always, thank you very much for tuning in. Our next video is going to be how to prep wheels. Now, it's a little longer video, but uh, just as important.